uh, that was Queer Nisquatsi. So the next film um, is called The Creeping Garden. And this is something pretty unusual, um, both in terms of the characters and in terms of the, the idea. And it's another fairly abstract film, but it's about slime mold, which might not sound a very interesting thing. But I guess that's the joy of the film is this, um, how you can take some natural system, in this case slime mold, and how it can dominate people's lives and they can obsess about it. And it almost puts slime molds into this mystical, magical perspective, you know, from a, but, but with scientists and researchers talking about it, just the amazing properties of, of nature. And also it, it ties to some of my old work in, in, in science. When I, before I went into music, I was working on uh, gene networks and how every living cell has a little, like a little algorithm inside it and how that can evolve to perform amazing things. You know, every cell of your body, every cell of every li living thing is like a little computer. It takes all these inputs and it, and it, and it uses them to make logical deductions and calculations and decide what the cell should do. So you can get surprisingly intelligent seeming behavior out of simple cells. And in this case, it's a slime mold of you know, many cells which can show a form of intelligence almost. And the film was presented, you know, from all these fans of slime mold and, and their obsessions, but it also then goes into, you know, work with musicians and how people are using slime molds for novel forms of computation and, and well, not novel forms of art, I suppose. Um, and it really takes something that you can't imagine would be worthy of a film into something which is absolutely worthy of a film. So it's a really, yeah, it's an interesting watch.